Newsreel, real news, real quick. The House voted to adjourn on Thursday after the 11th vote for Speaker ended in failure to elect Congressman Kevin McCarthy of California or anyone else. McCarthy is trying hard to broker a deal with 20 Republicans who have voted against him and a deal seems close. In a major allowance to the hard right Republicans, McCarthy offered to lower from five to one the number of members required to sponsor a resolution to force a vote on ousting the Speaker a change that the California Republican had previously said he would not accept. McCarthy agreed to place more members of the conservative House Freedom Caucus on the Rules Committee, which debates legislation before it is moved to the House floor, and he relented on allowing floor votes to institute term limits on members and to enact specific border policy legislation. Unsealed law enforcement records on Thursday revealed how the how police identified criminology graduate student Brian Koberger as the suspect in the Idaho slayings. A roommate of two victims told investigators that she looked outside her room after she heard crying and saw a man clad in black clothing and a mask walking toward her. She said he was five foot ten or taller, athletically built with bushy eyebrows which investigators say matched Koberger's physical attributes. DNA and observations of Koberger's casing the area by others also helped police to arrest him. The Biden administration announced Thursday it will expand Trump-era restrictions rapidly to expel Cuban, Haitian, and Nicaraguan illegal immigrants crossing the southern border, but it will also accept 30,000 people per month from those three countries, as well as Venezuela if they come in legally. Russian President Vladimir Putin ordered a 36-hour ceasefire from midday on Friday after a call from, for a Christmas truce came from Patriarch Kirill of Moscow, the head of the Russian Orthodox Church. Ukrainian President Zelensky has refused the truce. UN Security Council members voted on Thursday that they stressed the need, or actually decided on Thursday, that they stressed the need to maintain the status quo at the Al-Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem, but agreed to no action after Israel's new security minister, Itamar ben Gavir made a visit to the site, which Palestinian leaders called an unprovoked provocation. Afghanistan's Taliban government obtained its first foreign investment since its takeover in 2021 from a Chinese oil company, which agreed on Friday to develop an oil reserve in the country's northern Sar-e-Pul province. And that's the way the world is. See you next time.